Teacher Michelle. Today, we will learn about multiplying 3 to 4 digit numbers by 2 to 3 digit numbers with regrouping. To multiply numbers by 2 to 3 digit multipliers, follow these steps. First, write the factors in vertical column. Next, Multiply the multiplicand and each digit of the multiplier starting from the ones digit, then tens and hundreds. Third, align the digits of the partial products according to their proper place values. And last, add the partial products to find the final product. It is better to do the step-by-step -step method especially if the factors are large numbers. There are two terms which describe the three numbers in a multiplication problem. Factors are the numbers that are being multiplied together. They are the multiplicand and the multiplier. Multiplicand is the number that is multiplied. Multiplier is the number that shows how many times the multiplicand is to be multiplied. The product is the result or the answer of multiplying the multiplicand by the multiplier. Example, 8,375 times 25. Place the digits of the multiplicand above the multiplier so that the units line up. First, Multiply 8,375 by the last digit of the multiplier to get the first line of the partial product. 5 times 5 equals 25. And since 25 has two digits, we can leave the 5 in our answer line. But we need to carry the 2 and put it above the next top digit that we will multiply. Next, 5 times 7 equals 35. We have to add 2 that we carried. So, 35 plus 2 gives us 37. That's another 2-digit answer. We leave the 7 and carry the 3 up above the next digit that we will multiply. Our next step is 5 times 3 equals 15. We add the 3 that we carried and we get 18. Put 8 below and carry the 1 up above the next digit that we're going to multiply. Last, 5 times 8 equals 40. Plus the carried 1 equals 41. This time, we can leave both digits of the 41 in our answer line because... There is no more multiplication steps to do. The first partial product is 41,875. Next, multiply 8,375 by the digit in the tenth place of the multiplier that is 2. As the digit 2 is in the tenth place of the multiplier, we are actually multiplying 8,375 by 20. So, before we start multiplying, we need to put a zero in the ones place of our answer line. Multiply the digit 2 by the ones place digit of the top number, which is 5. 2 times 5 equals 10. And that goes in our second line answer. Now, remember, because 10 is a two-digit answer, we have to carry. And we always put the digit we carry above the next top digit that we will multiply. But before we can carry it up to that place, we need to cross out all the digits that we carried from our first answer line because we've already used them. So, now we can carry one to the top of the test place, which means 
it will go in the column above 7 because that's the next top digit that we will multiply with our bottom digit. Now, we can do our next multiplication steps. 2 times 7 equals 14 and add 1 that we carried and we get 15. Let's move on to the next step. 2 times 3 equals 6 plus the carried 1 equals 7. Finally, we get one digit answer. So we don't have to carry this time. We just write 7 in the next place of our answer line and move on to the next step. Last is 2 times 8 equals 16. Since no more numbers on the left, we can write both digits in our second answer line. Now, Add the two partial products, 41,875 plus equals 209,375. Now, let's move on to the next part, multiplying four-digit numbers by three-digit numbers. Let's find the product of 6,458 by 327. Just like before, we will multiply all the numbers on the bottom with all the numbers on top. Let us multiply 6,458 by the 1st digit of the multiplier, that is 7. First, multiply 6,458 by the last digit of the multiplier to get the first line of the partial product. 7 times 8 equals 56. And since 56 has two digits, we can leave the 6 in our answer line. But we need to carry the 5 and put it above the next top digit that we're gonna multiply. Next, 7 times 5 equals 35. We have to add 5 that we carry. So, 35 plus 5 gives us 40. That's another 2-digit answer. So, we leave the 0 and carry the 4 up above the next digit that we're gonna multiply. Our next step is 7 times 4 equals 28. We add a 4 that we carried and we get 32. Put 2 below and carry the 3 up above. The next digit that we're gonna multiply. Last, 7 times 6 equals 42 plus the carried 3 equals 45. This time, we can leave both digits of the 45 in our answer line. Because there is no more multiplication steps to do. The first partial product is 45,206. Next, we multiply 6,458 by the 10th digit of the multiplier 327. As the digit 2 is in the 10th place of the multiplier, we are actually multiplying 6,458 by 20. Before we start multiplying, we need to put a zero in the ones place of our answer line. Multiply the digit 2 by the ones place digit of the top number which is 8. 2 times 8 equals 16 and that goes in our second line answer. Right next to extra zero we put there. Now, remember because 16 is a two-digit answer, we have to carry. And we always put the digit we carry above the next top digit that we will multiply. But before we can carry it up to that place, we need to cross out all the digits that we carried from our first answer line because we've already used them. So, now we can carry 1 to the top of the 10th place, which means 
it will go in the column above 5. Because that the next top digit that we will multiply with our bottom digit, now we can do our next multiplication steps. 2 times 5 equals 10. And add 1 that we carried and we get 11. Let's move on to the next step. 2 times 4 equals 8. Plus the carried 1 equals 9. So we don't have to carry this time. We just write 9 in the next place of our answer line and move on to the next step. Last is 2 times 6 equals 12. Since no more numbers on the left, we can write both digits in our second answer line. Now we have second partial product. Next, multiply 6,458 by the digit in the hundreds place of the multiplier that is 3. As the digit 3 is in the hundreds place of the multiplier, we are actually multiplying 6,458 by 300. Before we start multiplying, we need to put a zero in the ones and tens place of our answer line. Multiply the digit 3 by the ones place digit of the top number which is 8. 3 times 8 equals 24. And that goes in our second answer line. Right next to the extra zero we put there. Now, remember, because 24 is a two-digit answer, we have to carry. And we always put the digit we carry above the next top digit that we will multiply. But before we can carry it off to that place, we need to cross out all the digits that we carried from our first and second answer lines because we've already used them. Now, we can carry two to the top of the tenth place, which means it will go in the column above 5. Because that the next top digit that we will multiply with our bottom digit. Now we can do our next multiplication steps. 3 times 5 equals 15. And add 2 that we carried and we get 17. Put 7 below and carry 1 to the top digit of the 10th place. Let's move on to the next step. 3 times 4 equals 12. Plus the carried 1 equals 13. Put 3 below and carry 1 to the top digit of the 100th place. Last is 3 times 6 equals 18. Plus the carried 1 equals 19. Since no more numbers on the left, we can write both digits in our second answer line. Now we have third partial product. Let's add the three partial products. 45,206 plus 12,916 plus 19,374 equals 2,111,766. Remember that there will be as many partial products as there are digits in the multiplier. That's all for today, children. Hope you enjoy learning. See you next time!